Okay, imagine we want to create a build configuration for our testing or our staging environments. In these environments, we probably have different settings. For example, connection strings can be different. Our application settings can be different. We may use a different mail server or a message bus and so on. So on the toolbar, from this drop-down list, select Configuration Manager. And then in this drop-down list, select New. So I'm going to create a new build configuration for our testing environment. Now we can copy settings from an existing template. I would suggest for any of your environments like testing, staging, and production, use the release build. And leave debug only when you're developing. So use it only on your development server. OK. Now that we have a new build configuration, if we go to Solution Explorer, and right-click web.config, we see a new item here, add config transform. See what happened? We have a new config file. So we had web.debug, web.release, and now we have web.testing. So as an example, we can get this connection string here and put it out of the comment. And this way we can overwrite the connection string to our database. So first of all, I'm going to change the name to default connection. Because in our parent web.config, here's the parent web.config. This is the name we use for our connection string, default connection. Now back here, you see here we have a different connection string. So data source is release SQL server. So when we deploy our application, this configuration will transform our parent web.config. So here we can add any other settings that are specific to our testing environment. Now let me show you a demo. So I'm going to save this file. Remember the connection string is pointing to release SQL server. Now, in Solution Explorer, I'm going to go to the Publish Wizard again. Profile tab. Look, first of all, we have an existing profile. Now I'm going to create a new one. Testing. Change the publish method to file system and location to testing. Now in the settings, in the configuration, we have a new item. So I'm going to select this. And now let's deploy. OK, beautiful. I'm going to bring up the deployment folder. I'm going to bring this web.config in Visual Studio. Here's our connection strings. Look, default connection, and it's pointing to release SQL Server. So this is how build configurations work. And finally, before we finish this lecture, in Solution Explorer, if you open Properties, under Publish Profiles, you see we have two different profiles. So imagine this is for our production deployment, and this is for deploying to the testing environment. So both these files are just XML that include the settings for each deployment environment. And when you check all this into your source control, all these published profiles are available to all developers in the team. So next time someone wants to deploy, they just go to the Publish Wizard and select the right profile and then do the deployment. Next, I'm going to talk about custom application settings.